Hi, Tony here for Lightwave Digital. I'm just going to show you how to quickly add a HDRI. So I've got this basic car on a ground plane, and if we turn on VPR and perspective view, uh, this is what I've got, which looks all right. So that is with your default distant and distant, uh, and sorry, in your environment map. So uh, obviously, I've gone like on my previous one, I've set the color space up to srgb and i've made so any images in here are set uh, to srgb so next thing i want to do is i want to add my uh, hdri so to do that make sure you have environment let's start by unticking use global and time dependent uh, and then in the little box here where it says environment right mouse click and it'll bring up this little drop down go to add come down texture environment double click it to bring up the environment settings and then you click on texture which brings up the texture environment uh, all you need to change so that it's an image we're using the projection map is a spherical and the image you just need to load in which I've got one here like so and then you need to put it through the Y so it's facing the right way let's have a look so if we look round our HDRI you can see it's facing the right way so we can shut this so if we go and back to up here and go on to our current light and just turn off everything like so so we're not using this at all it basically means that the the scene is just being lit by your HDRI the other important thing to do is go to your image editor go on your HDRI and the color space needs to be changed to linear here uh, so all these look are set to sRGB some my images and stuff okay so that's how I set up the actual uh, HDRI I can then go back and uh, turn this on if I wish start casting a bit of a shadow and stuff and I can also decide on the strength of these lights if I don't want to see the background of the HDRI but I just want it to light my scene I just go to backdrop compositing and then choose a, a basic color look here so which you can choose like again you can load your own image up here but that's the basics of how i just bring in a hdri and set it up uh, in lightwave 2020. the only other thing i usually do is i will maybe put the samples up and you just need to keep putting these up to improve the quality so let's say i um, i usually jump it up to 12 and i always double uh, the MSI sampling like so and that's that's it thanks for listening please share subscribe check out my next tutorial